Girl with the Dragon Tattoo movie review. This is the Swedish original. Michael Blomqvist has a bit of a problem. He's a great reporter, but he he's going to have to serve time for making accusations that didn't hold up and could damage the reputation of a businessman with really nothing to lose and time before he has to serve his sentence he's approached by a representative of a conglomerate who wants some help solving a murder a 40 year old murder where they haven't made progress for about as long as yeah those 40 years he recruits the excellent hacker Lis Lisbeth Salander the goth chick that everybody knows from you know any ad about this movie and together they try to solve the murder out in the outskirts of Sweden. Cold, desolate, and everybody is telling them that they should just give it up and go back. Also, nobody in the family of the this business conglomerate actually, you know, no two people in the family like each other and they are the prime suspects. They most likely killed this member of the family. So, you know, it's just like any other family, really. This, I should perhaps say, I have not read the book. I am told that it's a pretty close adaptation, all in all. This is a very gritty, brutal, disturbing film. It's not terribly overtly violent, or at least not very bloody and gory, but it is a really strong, affecting film. It's difficult to go into the themes without getting into spoilers, but it's somewhat about social issues and abuse of authority. There, the, the acting is phenomenal. I am probably gonna butcher this poor girl's name, Nomi Rapachi, I guess. Phenomenal as Salander. The her and the reporter Blomqvist have a fun sort of dynamic. You know, they're very different people and. The way they work together is, you know, interesting enough. In general, the characters are sufficiently interesting. Although, this being a novel adaptation, there are a few too many. It's especially in the family of the business conglomerate. Basically, every family member is a murder suspect. So, you know, and in a book, in a novel, you can have a lot of characters. In a movie... Not quite as much. I think this might have worked slightly better, slightly, as a miniseries. With that said, it really, really works. There are not a lot of good novel adaptations, or in general, just literary, you know, cinematic adaptations of literature. They tend not to be very good, but this one, again, I can't draw comparisons to the original text, but this is a very very good movie, just as, you know, as it is. That's another thing that you tend to be able to tell when something has been adapted from something that was written. With this, the only tell really is, like I said, too many murder suspects, you know. You forget who's who. The, the pacing is really good. It's a two-hour, 20-minute movie, and 
I was never bored, you know. I came into this movie not knowing anything about it, really. And it just, it really gripped me from just about immediately, you know. Very early on, there's this medium-sized exposition dump that is basically supposed to tell you everything, you know, setting up this situation of, you know, Blomquist is going to jail and he has, you know, he has nothing to lose, so why not take this job, you know. It's also important to note, he, you know, because of the sentencing, it's pretty clear that he's not going to be able to work for the time, you know, it, you know, there's talk about him leaving the paper he wrote for, you know, to avoid sullying its name. So, you know, again, that's why he goes on, basically, you know, he becomes a PI for a little while. The the characters are pretty nicely developed. They are quite credible, and the film really understands its show, don't tell. You know, there's, other than aforementioned exposition dump, in general, you learn something about these people by seeing them act. You know, you see how they behave in certain situations, and you get little hints of what is, or what has been, or what will be. The grit is very consistent. There's really nothing nice or harmonic about this film, except for maybe just a tiny little sliver of it, you know, just to keep you from, I don't know, jumping off a balcony after watching it, but it is a really dark film. The it's it's a very tense film, you know. There the the plot is consistently developing. You know, you keep discovering new clues in this you know murder investigation, and you know there is a decent enough amount of danger without it becoming like. You know, it is a drama thriller. It's not like an adventure film. It's not a... You know, it doesn't really f become like... I don't know, something else. I'm not entirely sure how to put it, but... Yeah, it's... And... The mystery is quite well written and intriguing. And most of the way, with almost no exceptions, you can follow it. You know, you are sitting there solving it along with the characters. It's not one of those annoying things where at the very end, you know, Sherlock pulls out all these hints that you completely miss throughout the rest of the story, you know. So, yeah. If I had to say something negative about it, you know, I've thus far only watched this one. It looks like a complete story to me. It doesn't feel that much like it needs more. But, you know, I watched the trailer for a second one, so I have a basic idea of what's what that one is. So, yeah. But anyway, it's a great film. You know, if you can handle that it's in Swedish, and, you know, the content isn't going to just, you know, send you into a deep, dark hole, then what are you waiting for? Go watch it right now. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.